is outside my room. I have these papers here ready to put up work and so welcome plenty. Here's a little classroom tour for you. Welcome and a slide to unlock that the kids love to do. So let's come inside. Slide to unlock. Welcome to my classroom. I moved classrooms this year and I am loving that I have a classroom with four solid walls. Last year I had a curtain that separated me and the other fourth grade teacher. So this is like awesome. The back of my door has some like words with friends style thing I was trying to do. Welcome to grade four. I also have my little ways we say class yes, which the kids love. I just have to try to think of incorporating this more into our day because they really do work well. This is our list of specials. I got those from Ladybug Teacher Files. Our birthdays, you can see my bunting there. I got that from the party section at Walmart with $1.50. This is um, my uh, boys and girls art shirts. And I have those separated in two gallon bags with their name. And um, they have to wear those to art to protect their uniforms. This is like a transition work, early finisher cart. It's also good for before school, uh, before care and after care when they need something quick to do. There's just large books in the bottom basket there. Um, also some puzzles and wraps and flashcards. Also, I got this for the day from another teacher. We have a prayer request bin and they have to put the prayer request in there. Um, instead of taking 10 minutes every day, taking prayer request after prayer request after prayer request. Um, this is my library area that I have organized by um, alphabetized into bins. And each book is labeled with that letter and then my name on the back. This is my iPad board. We used that that I made last year. Welcome to our pad. Um, the kids think that's cool and so do I. I carved off a little spot here to do a center rotation and just have the names of the centers and then their names and I can just um, slide those out to change. This is the homework club that I'm starting this year. I got this off of a blog. I can't remember the name of it but it was a free printable and basically if you do your homework you're in the club. If you don't do your homework then you're out of the club. So they would just come take their circle out and put it in this little bin, and then they're not in the club. If you're in the club at the end of the month, then you get a homework pass. So I thought that was pretty cool. I'm going to try it and see if it works. This is where we turn in our work, homework, and when we do um, an assignment, we turn it in during class. They come up and just find their number, and then they would put their assignment in that folder and then I can just go collect them all and they're already alphabetized and ready to go in the grade book. This is Writing Center, um, Library Center, some more big books here and my library checkout sheet. This is my bulletin board cabinet. has all my bulletin boards and border and lots more. These drawers um, all slide out, and this top one holds border and lots of other things. It's one I inherited from my mom. This is my art center. I've got markers in here, um, coloring books, paper. They can take um, a tub to their desk with some paper for art, and they can do that during transition time. Some cute posters that I was really happy to find at Dollar Tree. Um, on the cabinet over here, this is my little take a number thing that I uh, blogged about a while ago. If it's something that they, I have to check, then they can come and get a clip, clip, have a seat, and then I'll call those numbers. 
these post-its are first day of school activity we did um, where they took three post-its and wrote about themselves and we decorated the cabinet with. This packet of broom board I divided into half. Um, do you have a writer's eye? I thought this was really cute. That was a free um, printable from a blog. Hang on to good choices is my um, behavior incentive. If they um, have good conduct, then they can put up a sticker each day. If their homework is complete, they can put up a sticker. Um, and at the end of the month, I count those stickers up and they get a reward for that. This is our computer center and my desk area. Lots going on back here and my blue stool that I got at Goodwill and painted. It was brown and I painted it blue. Back here I put up a um, gallery wall type idea of free printables from the blog Technology Rock Seriously. And I just love them. I just printed them, laminated them, and just kind of spread them out. At the top you can see my birthday balloons. Um, that was another free printable and I've got the birthday gifts all ready for them for the year. This bookshelf is kind of nice to have behind my desk. It's got lots of things stored here. My um, objectives, we have to post our objectives for each subject, so I printed them all last year. And then this summer I uh, made files for it by subject and then by quarter. So I just have to go through and check my lesson plan and see what um, objective we're doing. The student will is what that stands for. And here's all my folders that I'm using all the time to grade, to record, makeup work, miscellaneous. When a kid is absent, um, he gets the makeup sheet there and then all their work goes into the makeup folder. Here's all my binders by subject and all my teacher keys, filing cabinets, microwave, refrigerator, and teacher toolkit. Um, this is the math board that I was really excited about. This is new this year. Um, it's kind of like a combining of a couple different ones I found. I wanted a math board that I could use for longer than just one chapter. So the addition, subtraction, signs, I got that from one site. And then the steps for solving problems I got from another site and I enlarged it. Then I made that caption, operation clue words. And the bottom, read each question carefully and think about what the question is asking. So I really like that and how it turned out. Over here I have my mailboxes and um, file to put their papers that go home in their Tuesday folder. We had an unfortunate vomit accident, so that's why that looks like that. I had to toss several hanging folders and it was not pretty. It hasn't, the office is out of hanging folders, so it does not look like it's supposed to yet. Um, this is the board area. I have an alphabet from Ladybug Teacher Files that I love. That's about the only thing in here that I have paid for to print. Um, that was about $3, I think. Um, I made these little signs to go on the board and just laminated them, put magnets on the back. Um, today is study hall, late work, and also printed and laminated the days of the week. And I actually have those stored right here on the side of my desk, and then I just switch it out each day. So every day I'm not writing the same thing every week. Uh, over here I also have morning to do that I printed and laminated, and it has a list of things I need to be working on when they come in. And this is Math Center, and this summer I went through this. It was very crazy and unorganized and sorted it by type, the counters, blue dice, the red dice. So it's easier when we do play a game that we know 
um, faster what we need. This is the calendar board. Um, I've made that big class calendar title. And then this is the first year I've had all the months on the board. And I really love the, that set. So I love seeing that the, all the bright colors. And then I have the clothespin for the month here. And then I have this little news section that has the clothespin with the tack hot glue to it. But we've got our schedule, a little quote. Also, my co-teacher's idea I took from her was just putting the jobs on a sheet of paper and then every two weeks she changes them instead of like a whole bulletin board where you're having to like move owls around and craziness. Like, you know, I can redo that from home and just click print and it's done. I just have to put it up. This is my cubby area. Um, I have them marked with circles that I've laminated and those were free that I printed somewhere over here. I have dictionary games. This is my homework board. Uh, I have room to do homework for the week this year, which I really like. And I tried to set it up just like their planner. So the days of the week are on the side and the subjects are on the top. And then they can look ahead and see what work they've got coming. And a little tip I learned from another teacher is you can use the Puffs Plus with lotion and use that to erase your chalkboard and it makes it erase um, beautifully without the chalk dust that you get with a regular eraser. So I love that. And then I used this tape is from the scrapbooking aisle at Target and I just used it to create my grid, make it pretty and put border around as well. This is my objectives. Um, I took the clothespins and I put the polka dot tape on the top of them to decorate and took a command strip and stuck it to the wall. And then I printed the name of the subject and taped it to the clothespin. And then every day I just switch out the objectives there for each subject. This is where I keep our lunch boxes. I have the students desk set up in little pods. I have 19 so we've got um, one group of three but the rest groups of four. This is something new I'm trying this year. Um, I bought these little boxes, magnetic pencil boxes from the Dollar Tree uh, over the summer and using them to put their tickets in and also I, we're storing our pencil pouches in our cubby and we're keeping you know just two pencils, red pen, eraser and our pencil box um, because our desks are just so crammed full so it's nice that the um, pencil pouch can get out of there and I also this year I saw one of my students had written on the side of their consumable books so one day we just got all of our books out and we wrote on each binding what the subject it was. So as they're looking in their desk, they can see really clearly which is spelling, which is science, and because they do look very similar from this side. So I really like that idea. All right, that's it. I think that's the end of my tour. Thank you for indulging me. Bye.